So looking at the screen Bitcoin price action, we can see guys the price of Bitcoin right now is flashing us a very very interesting scenario. A scenario which is pointing us where the price in the media short term, where the price for the coming days might be possibly heading. So before I start talking about it, I want you guys to do me a favor and quickly destroy that like button. And to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit that subscribe button and also a quick reminder like always, if you haven't claimed this free 500 USDT futures position airdrop from bybit and addition to that another free 200 usd futures position airdrop from bybit then i suggest you guys to check the video description now first thing first blackrock fidelity grayscale microstrategy have not sold the bitcoin despite the market crash yes guys around Two trillion dollar wiped out from the US stock market, around 1.2 billion dollar liquidated from the cryptocurrency market. Despite all of this, you can see institutions are remaining strong. And why? Because in a bigger picture, we are aware during a market rally, during this bull market rally, we have seen plenty of such shakeout in the past price action. I mean, if you look at this from 2017 2018, you can see guys during uptrend, we have seen plenty of such shakeout from the top till the bottom you can see 31 32 percent price retracement from the top till the bottom 41 percent retracement you can see each and every retracement during uptrend was above 30 percent right but at the end it still formed a new higher high i mean despite the sale of what happened here the price of bitcoin still managed to make a new all-time high and only after that started with an actual bear market rally same thing could be unfolding here i mean if you simply zoom out and if you look at this price action you can see guys from the top during this uptrend we did had shakeout price retrace more than 20 percent and now if you look in our case the last two days has been very bearish right because the price of bitcoin retraced more than 28 percent but if you simply zoom out you can see during uptrend retracement like this is absolutely normal so what i'm trying to pinpoint is that even though the price of bitcoin for now might look bearish but in a bigger picture there is nothing to worry about and why why that matters because if you simply look at this in a monthly time frame using this scenario post halving pre halving scenario you can see bull market bear market before going to the first halving we went in this expansion phase where the price was following this rising trend line each and every retracement what happened here you can see the price got attracted towards this yellow rising trend line and when we went through the halving we had a retest around this rising trend line before turning parabolic same thing happened here bull market bear market expansion phase where we were following this rising trend line this yellow rising trend line when we went to the second halving, price tested the support from this rising trend line before turning parabolic. Same thing happened here as well. I mean, price was following this bull market, bear market, and this expansion phase, right? But when we went through the halving, the third halving, we had a retracement. Price came back to test the support from this rising trend line before turning parabolic. And now, if you simply zoom out and look in our case, you can see bull market, bear market, and this was our expansion phase. After entering to the fourth halving, this could be a final retest around this rising trend line, this yellow rising trend line before turning parabolic. So if you look at it right now, if you simply zoom out, this rising trend line has acted as support around 48,000. So if this was the bottom for Bitcoin, then you can see just like from this past price section after testing the support from this yellow trend line, the expansion trend line, we are expecting another parabolic type of scenario to play out in our case yes guys despite the recent sell-off i still believe in a bigger picture the price of bitcoin could be preparing itself for another bullish continuation and why because if you look to the downside i mean using this monthly rsi line i showed you guys this couple of times in my video whenever this monthly rsi was overbought it usually signals that around that area the market might have topped out and what happened after that when this area line started appearing in an overbought area it resulted in a actual bearish move same thing happened here area line topped out which indicated a sign of weakness and also resulted in a reversal here bullish phase when this rsi was at the overbought area it resulted in an actual bear market so what i'm trying to pinpoint here is that in our case this rsl line is nowhere around the overbought area that means 
until this RSI line starts appearing around this overbought area. Until then, we are expecting the price of Bitcoin, even after this recent drop, to still continue here to the upside. Yes, guys, even after this shakeout, I still believe the bigger picture for Bitcoin looks bullish. And now, beside that example, even here in a weekly time frame, I showed you guys this on my previous video. In the media short term, this lower trend line, just like from this past price section, could be attracting us, but this will be acting as support i mean after testing the lower trend line you can see the price of bitcoin has shown a very nice relief rally so this weekly candle this weekly rejection here to the downside clearly shows that buyers are interested around this price range so that means the upcoming days for bitcoin according to this decent broadening wage should be bullish because each and every time whenever we test the lower trend line from this decent broadening wage it resulted in a very nice relief rally so if the price of bitcoin is going to do that same thing again you can see the upper trend line is going to attract us which is again going to be above 60,000 but before breaking out before getting attracted towards this trend line first we have to overcome some of the key line of resistance i mean if you look at this descending channel i showed you guys this on my yesterday's video lower highs lower loss continuation pattern a bearish continuation pattern for bitcoin but if we could come back inside this descending channel right it could be resulting in another continuation i mean according to this lower high slow loss continuation pattern we have tested the lower trend line and now just like from this past price action after testing the lower trend line you can see the price of bitcoin could be preparing itself for another continuation like this but before looking for an actual bullish move first we need to overcome some key line of resistance i mean we are aware price has already reached the price actually from this ascending broadening wage right price has found support at this descending channel lower trend line price has found support after testing the lower trend line now we could be preparing ourselves for another continuation according to this leading indicator because according to this leading indicator you can see the price right now is above this monthly s1 line and i've been very clear with you guys if the price manages to find proper support above this monthly s1 line the next area of confluence is going to be again around this CPI line which sits in between 61,000 to 63,000 range yes guys this CPI line will be attracting us if we manage to find support of this monthly as one line but please be careful guys it is not a proper support yet i mean price is fighting right price is fighting to remain above this monthly s1 line so if you find the daily candle closing properly above this monthly s1 line then we know it is going to be looked as a v-shape type of recovery otherwise what's going to happen here we could be getting attracted towards the next target for this month i mean the next bearish target which could be playing out like this i mean price failing to flip this monthly s1 line into support and then getting attracted towards the next bearish price target which sits around forty six thousand. yes guys for this month of august first support line was around fifty five thousand. now the second target is around forty six thousand, and the worst case target for this month of august according to this leading indicator sits around thirty eight thousand seven hundred. so these are the worst case target for bitcoin for this month of august if we fail to find proper support of this monthly as one line and now beside this example you can see even this williams alligator indicator is clearly pointing us that if we find support above this s1 line then i show you guys this monthly cpi line will be attracting us around 60 63 thousand and parallelly we will be also coming back to test the resistance from this williams alligator indicator which is again going to be around 60 63 thousand yes guys this blue red and the green line will be attracting us but it is also going to act as resistance so as soon as the price finds support over this monthly s1 line 60 thousand will be attracting us and we know 60,000 parallelly is also the top of this descending channel in a smaller time frame. I mean, if the price gets attracted towards the upper trend line, first, what must happen? We have to, right? We have to find proper support above this monthly S1 line because finding support above this monthly S1 line means this is going to be looked as a V-shape type of recovery where the CPI line will be attracting us. 
Williams alligator indicator will be attracting us and parallelly even the upper trend line from the descending channel will be attracting us so there is a very high probability of price even coming above 60,000 once this monthly S1 line which is around 55,000 gets flipped into proper support so this is what I wanted to share with you in this video if you enjoyed my vlog then please guys please do not hesitate to destroy that like button and to those individuals watching this for the first time to hit that subscribe button and also a quick reminder if you haven't claimed this free 500 usd futures positionator from bybit and additional to that another free 200 usd positionator from bybit then definitely check the video description because we know this event is temporary if you are an experienced trader if you want to take advantage of this market volatility then the time to act is now so by saying this i'm signing out until next time bye bye